Now we are going to recreate the simple one page score for Hichiriki Solo. So once again, open Notability Pro and create a new score. Now we need to add one Hichiriki to the score, but if we go into our Woodwinds panel, we can see that there isn't actually an option for Hichiriki. So we are simply going to add an oboe so that we get the playback sound from the oboe because it's quite similar. And we will actually just go ahead and here in this panel, change the main label to Hichiriki. And we'll change also the abbreviation. So we will just change it to H-I-C-H. And now we can change our document size to A4. This will be portrait and we can go ahead and create our score. Now we know ahead of time that there are actually five systems on this page. So we will go ahead and change the number of systems on the page. And to do this, simply go into your score structure panel, find the systems on the page tool and change this to five. And then you want to uncheck the center all staves because you want to rearrange them manually yourself. And then do this for this page only. And now you can see immediately that the score has changed to five systems. And this is where this arrow on the right hand side of the screen actually becomes useful because you can select this arrow and move it up or down to actually compress and expand all of the staves. There's a corresponding arrow at the bottom that you can use to do this from the bottom as well. Now we will compress it a bit so that there is room for the title and some of the text instructions at the top of the page. We also know exactly how many measures there are in this score. We know ahead of time how many measures we want in this score, so we will go ahead and change the first system to two measures and every system thereafter to three measures. There are also time signature changes in the score. And while we could import, input the notes and then change this after the fact, it, since we already know the entirety of the score, we will go ahead and change these first. To change a time signature, go back into the score structure panel, find the time tab, and adjust the arrows until the desired time signature. You can use the top arrow to change the number of beats, and there's an arrow at the bottom that you can use to change the subdivision. So now we are going to change it to 5, 4, and we are only going to change this measure. Following this is a measure of 3, 4, so we will do the same thing. And now we will go ahead and continue to change all of the time signatures for the rest of the piece. Now that we have entered all of our time signatures, I will go ahead and quickly enter all of the note values in each measure. Now that we have all of our notes entered, we can begin to add dynamics into the score. To add dynamics, you also need to have the insert image tool selected. And then you simply type the dynamic you want into the command box and click where you would like to put it on the score. In this case, you do not need to move the cursor to where you would like to put the desired dynamic and you simply click wherever you would like to put them. To create a crescendo, simply locate the crescendo tool in the tools toolbar and select it. And from there, you can click anywhere on the screen and drag to create your crescendo. To create a decrescendo, simply click and drag backwards. At the end of the first system, there is a decrescendo to niente. To create a crescendo to or from niente, click and drag while holding the shift key and then the niente will simply appear. And from there, you can go ahead and create all of your crescendi and decrescendi on your score.
To adjust the location of a crescendo, find the leftmost control point, and you can change the size by moving this backward or forward, and you can also change the vertical positioning by moving it up and down. If you want to make a crescendo larger, you can find the control point on the upper right and increase the size. You can also use that to make the crescendo bigger or smaller. There is a final control point that you can select and use to change the angle of the crescendo or decrescendo. There are a couple of glissandi in the score, so now we will look at how to create these glissandi. To create a glissando, select the two notes that you would like to create a glissando between, and then find the glissandi menu in the Music Images panel. Here you can see that you have options to select between various line types, as well as various curvatures of a given glissando. We will select the leftmost curvature type so that it is simply a straight glissando, and we will select the second thickness so that it is not too thick but visible. And we will go ahead and do that for the glissando between measure one and two, as well as the one at the end of the page. You can also adjust the distance of a glissando between the beginning and the ending note by using the arrows. So if a glissando is coming too close or colliding with a note or accidental, you can use these to adjust its position. To create a trill, locate the trill tool in the tools toolbar. Make sure that it's selected and then find the note that you would like to create a trill on. Click and drag until the end of your trill. And now you have a trill line. I will go ahead and add all of my trills to my document. You might need to specify which note you would like to trill to. To do this, add a graphic note next to the trilled note. To add a graphic note in Notability, type an ampersand in the command box before the note duration that you would like to enter. In this case, I will type ampersand quarter and then click anywhere on the screen that you would like these notes to appear. Graphic notes occur independent of beat structure and you don't need the insert image cursor to insert them. You simply click and they will appear. So here we will enter the note right next to the C. And now we have our graphic note next to the trilled note. Next, we need to remove the stem from the note. To do this, go into the Music Images panel and under Note Attributes, you can find several options to change the duration or appearance of a note. In this case, you can go to the one that looks like there's a darkened stem, and this toggles the stem of a note on and off. Right next to it is a, an option that contains a darkened note head, and this will toggle the note head on and off. In this case, we will toggle only the stem off, and then click the parentheses button to add parentheses around the note. And finally, we just need to go into the image size panel to change the image to a smaller size and now we have the note that we would like to trill to. And I will go ahead and add the rest of these to the score. Throughout the score, I use small circular images to specify whether the performer is supposed to use a breath sound or a pure tone. To add images to this score, go into the Tools menu and then locate an option called Image Library, and then a window will pop up with several empty boxes. You can add images to these boxes and then subsequently insert these images anywhere you would like on the score. So I will go into the Notability Library, first into my Library folder, 
then into Application Support, Notability Pro, and Notability Lib. And here are several folders that contain Notability Image Libraries as well as PDF files. And so I will go into the other folder and I will locate breath one and breath three and I will just drag them into the boxes where I would like them to appear. Now if I continue working on this score and then I close it and quit Notability, the image library won't be saved like this and I will have to drag these images in again. If you want to avoid this, you can save an image library that you're working on to a specified area on your computer, and then you can just load it the next time you open Notability. And then your images will appear again. To insert an image into the score, place your cursor at the area where you wish to insert the image, Make sure that it is highlighted in your image library and then select insert image and it will immediately appear. Each image has two control points for resizing or changing of direction. One is in the bottom left corner and that changes the location. The other is in the top right and this changes the size of the image. So now I will go ahead and enter all of these images into the score. And now I can go ahead and add all my text elements. Now we need to change all of the bar lines to dotted bar lines. So find the bar lines menu in the score structure panel and select to end of score and press the dotted bar line and the dotted bar line button and then add a double bar line to only the last measure of the score. Now the score is ready to be printed or saved as a PDF. To do this, go into the file menu and select print, and you can see what your score will look like when you print it or save it as a PDF. If you don't like the layout of this or how much of the page it fills up, you can go into the page setup menu select Notability Pro, and here you can adjust the printing scale so that you can increase the size of the images on the page or decrease them. And then you can print or save to PDF. And now your score is complete.